The magnitude of the electrostatic force exerted by two point charges on each other is directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the square distance between them. So now you can easily see that Coulomb's law is just an explanation of this formula, right? Since you have the formula at the back of your equation paper, that means you shouldn't be getting any definition wrong, right? And then now let's do 8.2. 8.2 is saying that let's calculate the magnitude of the electrostatic force that the one charge exerts on the other. So let's not forget we have F being equals to K, Q1, Q2, everything divided by R squared. So what is the value of k? k is a constant, right? So that is 9 times 10 to the power of 9. And then now here we have our charge q1 and q2. You can also do it vice versa. It doesn't really matter, right? So when we substitute in our equation here, we're not supposed to put a minus sign if there is or a plus sign, right? We just substitute them as they are. That is because we are only interested in the magnitude and nothing else. So we're going to have 4.2 times 10 to the minus 9 multiplied by 6.8 times 10 to the minus 9 and then we're going to divide everything by the square distance between them so we're going to have 0 0.3 squared right and then if you put that in your calculator you will get 2.86 times 10 to the power minus 6 newton Right, and that is the electrostatic force that the two point charges are exerting on each other. Uh, let's move to the second equation to the third element, 8.3. So 8.3 is saying that the two spheres are allowed to touch and are then returned to their original positions. And then the equation is asking us to calculate the new charge Q on each sphere. Right, so we have a formula for that actually. We have Q nu being equals to Q1 plus q2 divided by 2 right so here when we're trying to find q nu we have to put the direction into perspective we're supposed to substitute with the minus sign if there is a minus sign why are we saying that we're saying that because when the two spheres charge there's going to be an electron transfer right so we need to account for that by substituting in the sign so let's go ahead and uh, do that math so q1 uh, we're gonna have 4.2 times 10 to the minus 9 um, plus minus 6.8 times 10 to the minus 9 everything divided by 2 right and then if you put that in a calculator you should get minus 1 Point three times 10 to the minus 9 columns, right? That is the new charge on the two spheres. Right, uh, moving to 8.4. 8.4 is saying that let's draw the electric flow pattern between the two charged spheres, right? So now these two charged spheres are negative, right? They have a charge of minus 1.3 times 10 to the minus nine columns so if you have two point charges that are all negative they're going to repel each other right the same way two point charges that are positive would repel each other so let's go ahead and sketch uh, the electric field patterns between the two point charges so let's have um one charge here and have another here right so let me just draw a few fold lines on this one here so on the other side we must have something very similar and then right and then now we must show that they are repelling uh, by showing the curved arrows right we must show that all oh, these two fears are actually repelling now because they are like charges right so we must have something of this manner right uh, just one more last thing when the spheres are negatively charged the arrows shall be pointing towards the sphere and then when the spheres are positively charged 
the arrows are pointing out towards right 8.5 let's calculate the magnitude of the net electric field at point p situated 0 0.1 meters to the left of the spheres as shown in the diagram above we can clearly see here in the diagram what is going around right so we can see that uh, the electric field right the magnitude of the electric field the net will be equals to e 1 plus e2 right so e1 will be due to uh, the first sphere and e2 will be due to the second sphere right so we're gonna have e net being equals to so what is the formula for electric field strength right which formula do we use we say that k q divided by r squared plus e2 so this will be k q2 divided by r squared so e net will be equals to k that is 9 times 10 to the power 9 multiplied by q our spheres they now all have a magnitude of 1.3 times 10 to the minus 6 right again we're not supposed to put a minus sign we just put a the magnitude we only put a minus sign when we find in q nu right when we find in a net electric force or net uh, electric field we just use the magnitudes so here we have 1.3 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by r squared so what is the distance between p and this charge here that is 0 0.1 meters right so we're gonna have 0 0.1 squared and then plus uh, e2 right so we still have q which is 9 times 10 to the power 9 and then multiply by 1.3 because the charges have the same magnitude now divided by so what is the distance from p to this charge here that is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 squared right and then if you put that in your calculator uh, you should get one two four three point one point one watt point one three newtons per columns of charge